We're back with a hardball roundtable. Jamal, Susan, and Matt. Well, President Obama today says he wants to let 10,000 Syrian refugees into the United States proper over the next course of the next year. The situation has become, of course, dire with tens of thousands of refugees escaping their war-torn region in a desperate attempt to seek safety and shelter in Europe. Well, shocking video like this taken along the border between Greece and Macedonia illustrates the extent to which the humanitarian crisis is getting out of control. It appears to show a a Macedonian police officer beating a migrant with his baton, including a man holding, holding a child. Anyway, that's what we're looking at right now. Jamal and Susan and Matt, I want you to tell me what your reaction was when you heard that President Obama is making basically an executive decision to bring in 10,000 of those refugees. Jamal first. On a, on a humanitarian basis, this is absolutely the right call. I mean, I think we all remember who read history about what was going on in Europe in the 1930s and 40s and the United States being reluctant to take in Jewish uh, migrants at that time. This is something that's right. Politically, though, you can see why this is a fraught decision. And I'm sure it's not, it's not completely analogous, but Chris, you will remember Jimmy Carter uh, remember, you know, bringing Cuban refugees in the 19, I think it was 1980, which ended up costing somebody like Bill Clinton his, exactly. his governorship in Arkansas uh, that year. It's a, tough, it's a tough decision to make politically, and it may not just affect the president, who's not running for re-election, but other politicians uh, in this time of immigration being such a big issue in our country. You know, Chris, I yeah, think Clinton I would... certainly blamed Obama for what's called the Mariel boat lift. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that's certainly true, and it was it was very uh, difficult political situation for Bill Clinton. Then I I disagree on the politics of it. Now I, I certainly agree it's the right thing to do. We want European nations to step up and address this crisis. We have to do something ourselves. I actually think it's not analogous to the situation with Cubans, for, because for one thing, the United States played a role in creating the situation that has had led to this devastating situation in in Syria, and that gives us not only our traditional responsibility in the world to look out for people in peril, but also a very particular one with these Syrian refugees. So I think that the 10,000 is the right thing to do. I don't think it's going to end there. I think we're going to see thousands and thousands more Syrian refugees over the next several years brought into this country. And of course we want to be careful and do the vetting that we do to make sure this isn't something that's used opportunistically by people who, do, who want to do harm to us. But you look at these pictures, how can you not respond? You know, Let my me ask view you, why are we responsible? We, uh, Syria was never an American colony. Why, why is the United States as a country somehow morally or politically responsible for what's going on and is going on in Syria today? There are two reasons. One so, is because we failed. Two reasons. One is because we failed to do more when, the, when there might have been a possibility of some moderate Syrian opposition uh, against the Assad regime in Syria. Famously, Hillary Clinton was among those who urged President Obama to do more than he did. Secondly, the, the collapsing situation in Iraq, the very difficult situation there in the wake of the U.S. war, is contributing to the turmoil in the region that has created the situation that has sent these people fleeing. Go ahead quickly, Matt. Look, I, all I would say is I'd like to see a plan, number one. I don't plan for the region. And number two, for God's sakes, go to Congress and try to get some consensus on some issue that's as important as this. Thank you. Well said. Thank you, Jamal Simmons. Thank you, Susan Page and Matt Schlapp with something I might agree with. We'll be right back.